Many of you have already got selected in TCS. Some of you have already got the joining date and some of you are still waiting for it. But the point is, the people who have got the joining date of TCS, have you ever wondered what type of exams you have to give after joining the TCS? Really no, right? So don't worry. In this video, we are going to have a complete discussion about what is ILP, what is PRA and the most important thing is what if I don't clear this exam? Will I be able to onboard in the project or not? I am Pramod Bosley working in TCS for a digital profile since 2 years. Just in case if you are new to our channel, do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos. Without wasting your time, let's understand what is ILP, what is PRA. <laughs> So basically, when you get selected in TCS, there are the two phases that you need to go through before getting allocated to the project. And these two things are ILP and PRA. Now the point is, what do you mean by ILP? What do you mean by PRA? Don't worry, let's discuss these two terminologies one by one in more detailed manner. So let's start with what is ILP? ILP. So basically ILP stands for Initial Learning Program. This program is basically designed for the freshers or the new joiners of the TCS. The reason behind taking this program is that the person who is joining the company, he or she should get familiar with all the etiquettes of the company before getting allocated to the project. The main motto behind this is to get all the necessary skills and the knowledge required for your role. Now, this program basically contains a training like technical training, soft skill, domain specific training, and knowing the company's cultural and the process. Now the question comes, how long the ILP mainly goes on? ILP basically lasts long, basically for three to four weeks, depending upon your business requirement and the availability of the time. So this was all about the ILP. PRA. PRA basically stands for Project Readiness Assessment. It is basically a evaluation test that takes place after your training program. The main motto behind taking this exam is that they just want to judge whether the candidate is ready to get allocated on the live project or not. So basically what happens is whatever you have learned or trained in the ILP section, based on this, you will be having one exam. The most important thing to remember here is that until and unless you don't clear this exam, you will not get onboarded on any of the project. So make sure that you study well and prepare well for this exam so that you get allocated to the project at earlier. So this exam mainly focuses on the areas like technical areas, soft skill areas and other relevant areas required for the companies. Once you clear this exam, you will get released from the project and you will be get onboarded on the required projects depending upon your business requirement and the project requirement as well. So this was a short video on what is meant by ILP and what is meant by PRA. I hope this video has made some sense and you got the clear idea on what is ILP and what is PRA. Just in case if you are new to the runtime era, do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos.